for 250 years now, humans have been burning coal, oil and gas for energy. Fossil energy sources are in fact prehistoric woods. Millions of years of stored solar energy. The exploitation of fossil fuels made the Industrial Revolution possible and has been providing us with continuous economic growth and technological progress. Yet this development has been causing threatening changes to our climate, the massive effects of which we are only just beginning to experience. By burning coal, oil or gas, carbon dioxide, also known as CO2, is released into the atmosphere. To this day, CO2 emissions have been increasing dramatically. This is because, up until now, Economic growth has also meant increasing use of fossil fuels. In just 250 years, a very short time span compared to the Earth's history, humans have increased the quantity of CO2 in the atmosphere by around 40%. This is an alarming amount, bringing us to levels last seen on Earth 4 million years ago. The consequence is increasing warming of the Earth's atmosphere. Since 1750, the temperature on Earth has increased on average by one degree Celsius. If we continue like this, the CO2 content of the atmosphere will double, if not triple, in the next 100 years. The Earth will then heat up by a further three to four degrees. In order to stop this, mankind must put an end to releasing CO2 and other heat-trapping gases. CO2 accumulates in the atmosphere. This means the quicker we stop emitting CO2, the lower the future warming will be. If we do not act, there will be grave consequences. Already today, we are observing global effects such as shifting vegetation zones, rising sea levels, and extending periods of changing weather. Should climate change proceed unabated, it could lead to heavy economic losses, social upheaval, and migration of people across the world. We are facing a global challenge. All countries have the responsibility to reduce their CO2 emissions. Worldwide climate policy is crucial, and not just a matter for industrialized countries. Nevertheless, the US, China and Europe, currently the biggest emitters of CO2 in the world, must lead by example. The 2015 UN Climate Conference in Paris was a breakthrough in international climate policy. 195 states committed themselves to protecting the climate and to reducing emissions step by step. The goal of the agreement reached in Paris is an emission-free society. In Paris, it was agreed to keep global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius. This means that humankind has less than half of the amount of CO2 left to release compared to the amount it already put into the atmosphere our emissions budget is limited. The Paris Agreement commits industrialized countries to help developing countries to reduce their emissions and to adapt to climate change. Good climate policy making means striking a balance between competing interests, acting cooperatively and sharing innovative concepts and ideas. The Paris Agreement can only be successful if it creates incentives for countries to commit ambitious action rather than wait for others to act. This is why some countries must lead in ambition and implementation. Germany and the European Union aim to be leaders by example. Seventy-six percent of all greenhouse gases stem from energy production and use. That's why the use of fossil fuels, especially coal combustion, must be reduced as soon as possible. This means not only to shift to renewable energy sources, 
but also that residual emissions from agriculture, heavy industry, aviation and shipping need to be neutralised in the long term. Germany and the European Union play an important role in global climate protection. The EU is the third largest producer of greenhouse gases after China and the US and it is responsible for 10% of global greenhouse gas emissions. One-fifth of EU-wide emissions come from Germany. The EU has committed to a 40% reduction in its emissions by 2030 compared to 1990 levels. Germany wants to achieve this goal as early as 2020. The Energiewende, the transition to low-carbon energy supply in Germany, is a technological, political and societal project. If successful, it will be a role model for other regions. However, there is a risk of Germany missing its 2020 emissions goal. Its dependence on coal power has barely been reduced over the last 10 years. In order for the Energiewende to show the way forward in climate protection, abandoning coal as a power source is among the most important steps to be taken. We know we need to act decisively now. The Paris Agreement provides a foundation to build on, and yet Agreements mean nothing until they are acted upon. For this, we need creativity, bright ideas, courage and leadership. International climate policy can only provide the conditions and objectives, but it is up to us to take action, and the time to act is now.